All right, Connor, not the best season last year for UNH. What kind of differences can fans expect for this season? I think we'll uh, kind of pick up where we left off last year. Obviously, we didn't have the best season, but uh, we ended on a pretty good note, even though we might not have made it too far in the playoffs. But uh, I think this year we got a little bit younger group, a uh, lot more uh, maybe competitiveness will come from both sides. You know, we got a couple of goalies we can put a lot of faith into and a defensive corp that we uh, have had for a couple of seasons. So hopefully we can hold the bit down the back end and put some pucks in the net. Last year's freshmen moving up as sophomores, what can we expect from them? They had a, collectively a pretty good season. Yeah, we had a few guys that were, actually had a pretty good offensive production and uh, another, other guys who were good energy players. And they brought a lot to the team that maybe goes a little bit unnoticed, but uh, helped out a lot for us and hopefully they can do the same thing this year and maybe even a little bit more. Having a tough season last year, what kinds of things can you take from that and carry uh, to move forward this season? Yeah, it was a little bit bitter, sweet taste in the end last year and uh, I think what we can take forward is just we have to get out to a better start. Obviously the last couple of years we've had some slow starts, especially with a non-conference play and I think a big lesson is just to come out and start quickly because we've always finished pretty strong, but hopefully we can get a little better start in November. And this is a team that year after year is in postseason play. Last year, obviously, uh, struggled a bit there, but what can we expect this team to do in order to make it to the postseason play? I think we got to we decide, you know, what we're going to break it down this year in a little bit more of a segmented season. So instead of looking at the season as a whole, we're going to take it down to month by month and got to win every month. And hopefully that by the end of that come February, March, we're going to have on the upside of the months one, so hopefully that'll put, uh, move into some playoff, playoff play and some postseason success. Oh, uh, you're taking in several freshmen. I'm sure you've gotten to interact with them a little bit so far. What can we expect from this coming class? I think they're a good group, they're a mature group. Obviously, like I said, they're a little bit older, so they have a little more experience. I think they'll be able to jump into situations that maybe younger guys might not have the opportunity to do, and uh, I think. It'll be a battle to see who uh, gets to play in the lineup this year. I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of competitiveness throughout the whole team, and practice is going to be a little bit more uh, upscale and competitive. So it should be good to see who uh, fits in and who who uh, gets gets a chance to jump in there. Now back to the goaltending for a minute. Last year that was a shaky situation. What can we expect this season? I think we got some goaltenders. I think all three of them are ready to play. I think uh, just by seeing everybody in practice, everybody's they're all going to be fighting for that number one position. So. Obviously, the Smith was a great asset for us last year. He came in and helped us out a lot. And uh, Wire, you know, he had a little tough season being injured and stuff like that. But even Regan came in the last couple of weeks. He's been pretty outstanding in practice. So it should be interesting to see what happens. And hopefully all three will get a chance to jump in there sometime. And I think they can all back us up pretty well. So at this point, who uh, would you expect to start in that? I think we'll probably see the Smith in just because how he finished last year. Absolutely. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I think Wire will give him a chance chance too. I think I think he deserves a chance. He's obviously uh, proven well enough in practice and other in games when he's jumped in there he can play and I think all three of them really have a chance just a matter of who is who gets hot and when they get hot pretty much.